Good morning. How are you today, my lovely students? I hope you're doing well. It's English class, and today we have a new lesson. That's why I want you to be focused and also to get ready for learning new things today. The first thing that we are going to do is to read the day and date. So today is Wednesday and the date is June 10, 2020. And our lesson for today will be about pronouns. Let's say it one more time. Pronouns. So what does this word mean? Today we're going to learn about that, okay? So, let's say, everyone, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the pronouns in sentences I, he, she, you, it, we, and finally, they. And what I want you to do now is to click on the link and watch the videos about pronouns as you can see there are two videos so watch them and come back so what are pronouns what are pronouns okay so a pronouns takes the place of one or more nouns the pronouns i he she it and you are singular and when i say singular i am talking about one thing or one name okay and they take the place of singular nouns so we can say or we can use uh, let's say he instead of Ahmad so we can say Ahmad is eating his food so we can say he is eating his food so, do you get what I mean? And here, let's say, Sarah plays at the park. Instead of saying Sarah, we can say she plays at the park. So, let me say it one more time. The pronouns I, he, she, it, and you are singular pronouns okay so they take the place of singular nouns in the previous lessons everyone we have learned about nouns right so who can help me to remember what are nouns what are nouns stop the video for a while get a piece of paper and write what do you know about nouns excellent Nouns are the names of people, what else, animals, excellent, places, and things. And usually the nouns come at the beginning of the sentence, right? So in the lesson of today, we will learn how to use the pronouns instead of the nouns okay so as you can see here are the pronouns that we can use instead of the nouns so let's continue reading Amy likes to help people she volunteers on Sundays some pronouns refer to people or things that are not named for example, everything is in a place, nobody wanted to go home. The pronouns we, you, and they can take the place of plural noun or a noun and a pronoun together. So, let's again read it or read carefully. The pronouns we you and they can take the place of a plural noun so when i say plural i am talking about more than one more than one so in this case 
I'm going to use we, you, they instead of the noun. Okay, so look over here. They. So I'm talking about more than one. We. More than one. Okay? Do you see that? Excellent, everyone. So one more time. The pronouns are I, he, she, it, you, we, you, and finally they. But the difference is I, he, she, it, and you are singular. Singular. While we, you, and they can take the place of plural. Okay? Singular means one and plural means more than one. Okay, and what I want you to do now is to bring your grammar booklet because we're going to use it. Grab some pencils, okay, and open the grammar booklet on page 104. So, what we are going to do now is to find the pronouns in the paragraphs. So, we're going to read together and then find the pronouns and write them on the lines. So, are you ready to do this? Well then, let's get started. Mr. Lewis said, how can we be good citizens? Jenny, raise your hand. I think, I think we can help other people, she said. Mr. Lewis smiled. They said, I agree with you, Jenny. The other children agreed. It said, let's make a list of ways to help. So everyone, use your pencil and let's find the pronouns together, okay? So, in the first line, I can see that we is a pronoun. Let's look for more. Let's go to the second line. Okay, read it carefully, everyone. Where is the pronoun? Yes, I'm waiting. Yeah, excellent. Here we have two pronouns, I and we. Great job, everyone. So let's look for more. Okay, read the line. Have you found it? Excellent. She. Okay, she is a pronoun. And over here, I can say they. I, you, it. Let's write them down. So the first one is we. I, we again. It's over here. She. They, I, you, and finally it. So everyone, we use we, they, instead of the singular or plural nouns. Excellent, plural. And plural means more than one. While we use I, she, you, and it for singular or instead of singular nouns. Excellent! You are amazing! Here we go. Task options. So on the following slides, you will see two different tasks. You can complete task 1 or task 2. It's up to you. Task number one, complete page 101 of your grammar booklet. So open page 101, write the day and date, and let's get started. 
So circle a pronoun to replace the underlined noun in each sentence. So let's read the first one. Sara likes to help animals. Sara likes to help animals. So shall we use she or it instead of Sara? Go ahead. So the answer is she. The answer is she. Well done, everyone. So I use she when I talk about females. For example, Sara, Huda, Nora, Alia, Hand. Okay. All these are names of girls. Number two, Adam volunteers with her at an animal shelter. Adam, so we're gonna circle he or it. What do you think, everyone? We're gonna circle he. You know why? Because usually we use he for the male so if i want to uh, you know talk about adam ahmad muhammad ali saeed okay these all these are nouns right but i can use he instead of the names of males okay everyone so instead of saying um, Ahmed is I can say he is okay so have you got it number three the shelter is near their school the shelter is a place okay and when I talk about a place or something that can talk I can use it okay when I talk about places um, what else everyone animals things I can use it or in this case I'm gonna use it so the answer here is it everyone number four a puppy plays in the corner so as, as I said to you when I talk about animals or things let me say also places I am gonna use it okay it so here the answer is it number five Miss Strong feeds the puppy so here I'm talking about Miss Strong so I'm gonna use you or she what is your answer Excellent. I'm going to use she. Okay. A person can help at the shelter. A person. A person. So I am talking about anyone or everything. I need your help. Everyone. Excellent. And now let's move to task number two. Complete page 105 of your grammar booklet. Let's read. Mark the pronoun that could replace the underlined words. Let's read the first one. Aaron is re reading to Miss Jackson. They, she, I, we. She. Miss Jackson likes it when children visit her. She, he, it, we. She. My mother and I live near Erin. It, she, I, we. So everyone, when I say my mother and I, so I am talking about more than one, right? So it's not it or she. 
Also, it's not I, but it's, when I hear you everyone, it's we. So everyone here, we chose she because I am talking about Erin and she Erin is a girl, right? And here also Miss Jackson is a a woman. So when we talk about females we use she. Let's continue number four. Tom and John helped Miss Jackson by breaking her leaves. So Tom and Tom. So I am talking about more than one. So I'm not gonna choose she, it, okay, or yeah, tell me. So what is the answer? Yes, what is the answer everyone? They. Tom and John, they, because I'm talking about more than one. Number five. The leaves fell from the big tree. The leaves. Okay, take your time. What I am going to choose? They, it, I, or we. What is your answer, everyone? The answer is they, because I am talking about more than one thing. More than one thing. In this case, I'm going to use they. Let's go to number six. Tom raked the leaves into a pile. Tom, so I am talking about, about one person only. Okay, so it's singular. And when I say Tom, I mean they, he, it, or we. What is your answer, everyone? He. Excellent. The answer is he. Let's go to number seven. The helpers worked on Saturday. The helpers, more than one. So I'm going to choose he, she, they, or it. So what is the answer? I need your help, everyone. They, because I am talking about more than one person. Let's go to number eight. Miss Jackson said thank you, everyone. So, Miss Jackson, as you can see, only one person, right? And she's a female, so what we're going what we are going to choose? They, she, it, or we. Are you gonna hear your voice? So the answer is Yes everyone, what is the answer? Is it they, she, it or we? It's she. So we can say she said Thank you, everyone. And finally, everyone, write a sentence of your own using a pronoun. Okay, so everyone, write a sentence of your own using a pronoun. This is the last thing that we are going to do for today. So have a great day and see you tomorrow. Bye.